what's up you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's your girl sierra back with another vlog i say this every time i start vlogging i don't really have much plan like your girl needs to get a life because <laughs> i just don't be doing much anymore but anyway today i'm off work it's a friday so i'm gonna run some errands i need to go to target i need to go make a return to home goods i need to go to sephora and then the container store and then i just want to go get a bite to eat because i'm starving and it's lunchtime and i haven't eaten nothing all day so that's what i'm about to do today i don't really know what i have planned for the weekend we just going with vibes going with the flow anyway let me show you guys what i'm wearing um i'm not really wearing much of anything special to be honest with y'all so i'm literally hold on y'all know my camera don't be focusing so i'm wearing just like this one piece like jumpsuit um i don't remember where this is from zara crop denim jacket and then i'm wearing my new jordan ones the denim ones with the bamboo detail freaking love these shoes anyway i'm on my way out i'll catch y'all when i get in the car oh wait hold on actually so before we go i want to show you guys my new entryway I did not vlog it yesterday, so I got this rattan console from Amazon. And it pretty much just holds all of my everyday shoes. So like, I don't wear shoes in my house. I mean, obviously I have no shoes right now, but like, that's because I'm on my way out the door. But normally I do not wear shoes in my house, so I usually come in the house, take my shoes off, and I just kind of leave them by the door. So yeah, so I got this from Amazon. And I think it's super, super cute. And then I also got this little bench from Amazon as well. This little like stool so I can just like, you know, sit down when I'm putting my shoes on out the door. And then I got also got this. All of this is from Amazon as well. So I got um, this little like bowl to hold my keys. And then these two are really nice vases. And then this is just a Ness oil diffuser. If you guys have never tried Ness for like, fragrance like home fragrance and like candles and stuff like that you are asleep because it smells so good i'm actually on my way to sephora to grab another one because as you guys can see this one is almost out but i love them as soon as you put this like in your house it doesn't matter where it, your house is going to smell so good i usually get the grapefruit scent or like the orange scent i'm telling you fire so i'm going to sephora to re-up on that let me just show you guys the um the cabinet so you pretty much just pull it out and then you can fit like all your shoes in this shelf you can fit at least like two or three shoes you know per row so i just really really love this because it's just really convenient and it's just like i still have a little bit more space here for newer shoes I just love it because it's like all my everyday shoes like the sneakers that i wear every day like my nike slides when i'm just running out the door really quick um just kind of fit in here even my house shoes are in here so yeah i love it like i said i just have the um bench here so i can just you know sit down when i'm putting my shoes on out the door and i just think it's perfect and i didn't have anywhere to really set my keys and i was always losing my keys so it's perfect i can just come inside drop this in the bowl and you know my keys are always in a in a spot where i can find them so i'm just really really loving it and i still have a good amount of space to walk in this like entryway hallway or whatever but anyway just wanted to show you guys that Okay, so I'm done with Takaya and um, I haven't had Takaya in probably a year so it's been a long time since I've been there and I was really disappointed with the food today I'm not even gonna lie to y'all like my tacos were like eh, mediocre I tried the ceviche because the guy you know the cashier he was like oh it's new and it's pretty good and I was like okay I really do love ceviche so let me try it and I tried the ceviche and it was disgusting like no flavor no lime no nothing like just very bland very unseasoned like wasn't feeling it so i left the ceviche on the table i had the margarita the margarita was like juice no tequila i'm not even a little tip tip like i did not like to today i don't know if i'm going back and 
I just found out that they don't even have the sweet corn tamale, which is my favorite side. They don't even, they discontinued that, so they don't even sell that anymore. So I'm just like, mm, it's given very much so. I'm never going back to Takaya, at least not that location, because I wasn't, I really wasn't feeling it. But anyway, I ate it anyway because I was hungry and I needed some food before I like run all these damn errands today. vlogging y'all the stores today was so chaotic i was just like it's a friday in the middle of the day like why is it so crowded but i forget i do live in la and a lot of people do not have day jobs mm -hmm. so it was just really busy i'm like are people starting the holiday shopping already or what because it was crazy and i just didn't really feel like having my camera out in the midst of all that it was just a lot so i stopped recording after sephora but i'm still want to just uh let's you know show y'all what i got but anyway what i got from sephora so so of course i wanted to re-up on my user this nest diffuser and the grape scent fruit the grape scent fruit the grapefruit scent is so good like when i tell you if you want your whole house to smell good get this bomb and then this is the oil diffuser looks like this and you just pop it off with the sticks in leave it out and your house will be smelling amazing so I got that and then what else? Oh, I got the K18 hair mask that everyone's been raving about. It's like focusing or not. But anyway, this is a K18 leave-in hair mask that's supposed to like really, really, really repair damaged hairs. So this stuff is expensive too. Like I thought Olaplex was expensive. This was $85. Or like, hold on now. Was it eighty-five dollars? Let me make sure I'm not being extra. Seventy-five dollars. It was seventy-five dollars. That's still expensive for this little ass bottle of leave-in conditioner. So, but it's supposed to be like better than Olaplex, even though I probably will still use both of them because Olaplex you wash out and this is a leave-in, so I'll probably use both. But yeah, it was seventy-five dollars for this bottle. This little ass bottle. So it better work because if it doesn't work, I'm not going to keep buying this because it's extremely expensive. But I like to take care of my hair, so that's that. Oh, and then I got just like a small thing of the Fenty. So this is the Fenty Skin. Uh, What is this? The Butter Drop Whipped Oil Body Cream. Um, I've never tried this. I got the like small like size you just kind of like drop in your purse i was like let me just try it first and see if i actually like it and then if i like it i'll buy the bigger one i've heard it was really really good and honestly you can't go wrong with anything fenty so i was like it has to be pretty good but again i just wanted to try it first so i just got the small one but i'm about to see what it's giving right now it has a light scent nothing too strong so you can definitely wear like another fragrance on top of this yeah, it doesn't really have, ooh, but the texture is nice. I do like the texture. Let's see what it's giving. Ooh, it's thick. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. I like this setup a lot. Again, it has a, it has a scent, like it has a fragrance, but it's so light that like, I don't think it'll last all day. And I'm definitely sure you could mix this with other fragrance but oh my gosh i love this and it gives you like i don't know if you guys can tell but like look at the little bit of sheen i'm i'm really into this okay sold on the fenty skin so this will go on my purse and then i'm gonna get the um the bigger one later for like out of the shower and then all i got left in here are just two fenty lip glosses because i just love fenty lip gloss but 
I wanted to try their new glass bomb ice. So the new glass bomb ice is supposed to be like pretty much the same as the regular glass bomb. The only difference is that this one has like a mint taste and like feel like cooling sensation on the lips, which I absolutely love. So I was like, gotta try this one. It was sold out of like all, I, did, I went to three Sephora's today. It was sold out of the first two Sephora's and I finally got it on at the third one. So clearly the girls are loving the ice bomb ice, the glass bomb ice. Um, not gonna lie, I tried it on in the store. Love it, it's on my lips right now. Absolutely love it. It has like a taste and it also, you feel that cooling sensation. So this is going to be my new everyday lip gloss. Okay, so then I also got the glass bomb in the Fenty Glow, which is like a brown like lip color shade. Um, I got this one for when I do like my normal like makeup looks. I like to do a new lip and then I like to put lip gloss over my new lipstick. So I just thought that this would pair perfectly with my, my lip combo. So I ended up getting this. It's really pretty, like a really pretty brown. And that's pretty much it. I didn't do a lot of shopping at Sephora. I really just went in there to get a few things. But even just these few little things, I spent 200 bucks. But that's because this damn... K18 is damn expensive. Like, I just can't. But anyway, so that's all that I did for shopping wise. I'm about to order me some kava because I'm really craving that right now. I've eaten it like at least three times this week and I want it again. Kava is just so good. It's just so good. So I'm gonna order that. And then Megan's on her way, so we're gonna have a little wine night and probably just kick it, watch some TV. And that's pretty much it. So. I'll catch y'all probably when she gets here or maybe maybe not. I don't know. I might not catch y'all till tomorrow. We'll see. What's up, you guys? So it is the next day. Actually, no, it's two days later. I ended up going to the container store yesterday to get containers for my little like fake pantry. So because I have a really small kitchen, I don't really have a pantry. So this is my pantry and as you guys can see it is a mess and i just cannot stand to look at that and then also this is technically my pantry as well i don't really keep too much up here but there's still stuff up here so these two these two cabinets are considered my pantry mainly this one and as you can see it's a mess so i ended up going to the container store yesterday to get um, containers to organize that. And then I ordered a few things on Amazon as well. And I don't even really know what containers I'm gonna need and what I'm not gonna need. So I feel like I might have to go back to the container store to get more things. And I probably will have to take some things back depending on how I configure everything. Cause I really didn't know how I wanted to configure things up there and what sizes I really need. I should have measured, but I just, I wasn't sure. So let me just show you guys what I got from the container store really quickly. Uh, oh, here it is. We're not gonna actually organize these cabinets today, these pantries today, because I wanna wait for the stuff that I got from Amazon to come. So I'm not gonna do it today. I'll probably do it sometime this week. I'll probably pick up the camera again in a couple of days and we can organize these cabinets. But, and I also wanna organize my refrigerator too. So that's another thing. I was supposed to go grocery shopping, as I said a couple of days ago, I ended up not doing that because to be honest with you guys, I hate, like when I tell you I hate going grocery shopping, like I do not like going grocery shopping. So I was trying to muster up you know the energy to go and then i was like you know what i'm not going so i'm about to actually instacart my groceries that's usually what i do anyway unless i'm really just have the energy and have the mood to go grocery shopping for the most part i get my groceries delivered unless it's like trader joe's and like certain places where they do not deliver but anyway so um let's let me show you guys what i got from the container store and then we're going to order our groceries and then i need to really figure out how i want to organize the uh the refrigerator but I, again i need to go back to the container store to get like containers for the refrigerator because i only got bought containers for the pantry cabinet so hold on let me put y'all down so i can show y'all what we got okay so big bag from the container store oh child Okay, so I got 
two Lazy Susans. So a small one and then a large one, or I guess a medium and a large, I don't know. And I wasn't sure how, like if I needed both or what sizes that I need, so I just got both and then we'll kind of just see later if I need to keep both or if I need to go back and return one and exchange it for the other. Um, then I got this little container right here for my oatmeal. Um, then I got this large container, which I have a feeling this container is not gonna fit in that cabinet. Um, okay, so then I got like this little container for like my granola bars and stuff. I love kind bars. Usually like we'll snack on those every once in a while. So I thought this would be a great way to just kind of organize them in here. Um, then lastly, I got this container because I always eat a lot of chips. So I was like, this could be perfect to put my like chips in. So I got this container for that. I think I might need to get one more of these containers because I have like, I wanna get one for like my large bag of chips, like my shareable chips, and then like this one for like my individual chips. So I actually do need to go get one more of these. So those are the, the few containers that I got to organize up there. Like I said, I probably am gonna have to go back to the container store and get more things. Plus I wanna organize the refrigerator. And I haven't decided exactly how I want to organize the refrigerator yet. So that's why I haven't tackled that yet. So we'll probably go back to the container store in a few days. And then we'll we'll start organizing. What's up, y'all? So my vlogging has been terrible. <laughs> this is like the next weekend or so. I didn't even vlog in between because it was like I was going to work. And it wasn't really much to vlog, you know, my day to day. So... We're gonna make this like a couple weekends kind of all together. But anyway, so it is, I didn't vlog yesterday because I didn't do anything yesterday. Like work, this new job has me so tired. So like Saturday, I didn't do a damn thing. I rested the entire day. I did do a couple errands, but other than that, like I rested the entire day. Oh shit, Megan's calling me, hold on. Hello? Hey, I'm running later than I need to. Are you still at home? Anyway, so that was Megan. So what I was trying to say is that I'm on my way to my homie's restaurant, to Homemade's. I vlogged that a couple vlogs ago, so if you guys haven't checked out the like opening of that restaurant, I will link the video down below. Ooh, the sun is in my face. Um, but today was Megan's graduation. So we did that earlier this morning. But um, yeah, so we went to our graduation this morning. That was in Ontario, which was pretty far. It was like an hour out from LA. Um, so now we're going to the boys' restaurant for her like graduation after party. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head there right now. I'm outside in a damn Jeep. Right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas brown, me, I and they die. Gotta watch the time, cause it's flying right by. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, PT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Caught a shorty off a fan star Just the one I'm really a supreme shot Way that I've been living on conventional I'm just trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things have started getting pissed off Think we need to have a sun and fresh I could be a man, but maybe God Okay, so, yeah Just getting home, like I said and it was such a nice day at the Grove today. Like, it was about 75 LA, typical LA weather. Um, sun was out. It was just beautiful. So I ended up getting the new Air, the MacBook Air in the, uh, the like, black version, the, like, matte black version. Um, and then I also got, obviously, the Microsoft to go with it because... We always need to have PowerPoint, Excel, and all that stuff, Microsoft Word and stuff. So yeah, that's what I got to, that's what I picked up today. I really needed a new computer. 
this one is the 13 inch the new the new generation the one that just came out um the macbook air with the apple m2 chip which is supposed to be really really good they're saying now that the macbook airs are just as good as the macbook pros and i didn't really like the macbook pro it is the 8 gigabyte memory with the 256 gig ssd okay i'm back sorry my camera was dying so what i was saying was they're saying that the macbook airs are now pretty comparable or pretty are just as good as the macbook pros because of the m2 chip i don't know what that means i'm not tech like that so look it up google it because i don't know but the lady at the macbook store told me that the macbook air was perfect for me i told her i do youtube videos and you know i create content she was like this is pretty much all you need she was like as long as you have a hard drive you should be good to go to edit on this and i like the fact that it was just thinner the new macbooks like the macbook pros they're thicker like they're the like actual computer is thicker and i didn't like that i wanted something that was light um small and compact for me to travel with because sometimes i like to take my computer when i'm traveling sometimes i edit when i'm traveling um so i just wanted something that was easy for me to you know be mobile with um and also still work really well for the content i'm trying to create and edit and stuff like that and she was like the macbook air is perfect for that because she was like they're they're just as good like they're starting to make the macbook airs just as good as the macbook pros she was like more so it's mostly about like how much storage you want and sometimes she i think she said the retina display is a little bit sharper on the pros but it's not so off to where you're like oh this is terrible you know so I was like, okay, cool. I'll just get the Air. Plus, I liked the color that it came in, which was the matte black. The MacBook Pros only come in the space gray. They don't really come in like the matte black one. So, yeah, that's why I got this one. So, I'm not going to open it just yet, but I do want to show it to you guys. I don't know if I want to do an unboxing like video or if I just want to just unbox it on here. If I want to do a real, I haven't decided yet. But your girl is tired, so... I'm gonna take a little bit of a nap and then I'll get back up and maybe I'll show you guys what it looks like. We can box it together or I might just post a reel on Instagram. I haven't decided, but I'll let y'all know in a little bit. But for right now, I'm gonna catch y'all a little bit later because I wanna take a nap. All right, you guys, good morning. It's Sunday. This vlog is all over the place. I've been vlogging one day, not vlogging for two days. It's just a mess. But anyway, I still need to shoot the unboxing for the MacBook Air, which I'm gonna do today. I don't know if I'm gonna like shoot it on here for the vlog, but I'm definitely gonna try to make like a TikTok for it. So that I'm gonna do a little bit in a little bit. Right now, y'all remember um, last weekend, I bought um, containers from the container store to ignore the noise. My dishwasher is very loud. Um, but you guys remember I, I ordered, I mean, I bought containers from the container store to like organize my little pantry cabinet up here so i'm actually going to start organizing that finally today so i'm gonna do that today so I'll, i'm gonna film that we're gonna do that together
dance you nasty up and them nasty up Fix things, quick things, blue pins Well alright then, from you see me a cleanest Rose when me rockin' at the fucking realest Chi ching ching, in a the Louis Vives Girl one with his feet, see the can and real bless Can a blow a breeze from the head of my penis Coolest breeze that me rockin' a sleeveless hey! Black black, so easy out! feels much better. Oh, I forgot to put my protein powder in there. Uh, we're just about to do that. So now I can thoroughly see everything that I have up there and it's just not as crazy and cluttered. I feel so much better about it. I'm sure I'm gonna have to like readjust later when I get more containers. I should go grocery shopping because this is not everything, but for now it looks much better. But anyway, so now I'm about to just finish cleaning this house. I'm not going to record that because I just want to focus and I don't want to have to worry about recording while I'm cleaning. And then... So it's a little bit later. It's actually a lot of late, a lot later. Um, it's like nine o'clock in the evening. I'm about to go out on a work night. I'm tripping and I know I'm gonna be suffering tomorrow, but it's my homie Vince's birthday. Um, so he always does something during like the Halloween weekend. So we're going downtown to X Lane's bowling. So yeah, that's what I'm doing and hopefully I can make it through the night because I'm already tired and I have to get up very early in the morning, but it's his birthday So of course I have to go Ignore the clothes in the background. I still haven't folded those but so I have on these like wide leg straight jeans from Zara um, This cropped this black crop Hoodie is also from my whole outfit is actually from Zara this crop hoodie is from Zara and then also this crop Denim jacket is from Zara, and then my bag is actually from Amazon. It's a cute little bag, fits a lot even though it's small. Um, and then I have on my Nike Dunks. So yeah, this is the outfit. I feel like this is perfect for bowling. But anyway, let me, I'm like, my hair is a little, still a little wet. I don't know if you guys can see it, yeah. I never wear it out, but, cause it's very heat damaged, but I did a little bit of a braid out. Um, so it's still a little wet. I just took it down. But anyway, I'm about to head out. I will catch y'all when we get to x -Lanes. I just got home. I did not vlog at all while I was there. I didn't know none of them people, okay, child? And y'all know me. If I don't know somebody and it's in an intimate setting, I won't pull out my camera. Like, I just won't. Like, in public, that's different. But when it's, like, an intimate setting... And I don't really know the people that are there. I'm not pulling out my camera, so I didn't vlog. But I'll still leave the info to the place that we went to down below in the description box. Um, but I have to be up and ready for work in six hours. So I am about to uh, wash my face, brush my teeth, and go to bed. And um, I will talk to y'all. So, good night.